hello. Welcome, boys and girls. My name is Manny and I am so excited to be here. This place has been so fun. I've loved traveling back in time with you. This is the last week in our time travel series where we go back in time to the Bible to see how the Holy Spirit helped people back then and how the Holy Spirit can help us too. If you're new, we're so excited that you're here with us today. We wanna to send you a special welcome. We have a surprise for you. Every week, we send out mail to all of our friends. It's so fun and I think you're gonna love it. And if you wanna be on that list, all you gotta do is text in your name and the word new to the number on the screen and we'll start sending you our mailers. One of the first things we do here at Kids Crossing is we pray. So if everybody can get nice and quiet for me. God, I thank you so much for this time together. I thank you for all the boys and girls that are joining us today. I ask that you be with us, open up our hearts and our minds as we learn about you today. And in your name we pray, Jesus, amen. Okay, boys and girls, I have a question. Can you make your strong muscle arms for me? Awesome, leave them up, because you're gonna need them, because our next song is called Big and Strong. We'll be right back. Okay, are you ready? I'm not even gonna waste any time. I'm just gonna tell you who I'm going to find. I am going back in time to find Paul. I think our machine's ready, let's go. Oh, wow. Look at this place, this is really cool. This weird person told me that they were going to bring me to the future. Hey, is this the future? Wow, oh, this is pretty awesome. Well, back where I'm from, when we send a message, it takes a really, really long time. And in fact, that's what I was doing before I came here. I was just writing a letter to my friends, to the Romans. Want to hear what I wrote? I wrote the book of Romans, and in Romans 8.14, I wrote, For those who are led by the Spirit of God are children of God. I wrote that to my friends, the Romans, because I really wanted them to know when they're in God's family, they have this special gift called the Holy Spirit. Oh, that weird person that brought me here to the future told me that's your guys' line that you're working on, and that's really neat. But you're probably wondering, how did I become a part of God's family? Well, the good news is that's all inside your Bible, and if you look in there, you can find that too. Oh, and on my way here, I saw one of those moving pictures, and I really want to see what that looks like. Let's check one out. Thanks, bye. When you read the Bible, 
there's a guy that really stands out, a man named Paul. Paul was a missionary who wrote the books of Romans, Galatians, and many others in the Bible. But what's really incredible is Paul's story before he became a follower of Jesus. He was a very different person. His name wasn't even Paul. It was Saul, and he hated anyone who followed Jesus. Saul tried to do what was right by following the old laws, but he believed anyone who followed Jesus was wrong. So he chased down Christians and captured them. One day, Saul was given permission to go to a town called Damascus and arrest any followers of Jesus that he found there. But an incredible event happened on the road to Damascus. As Saul got closer to the city, a bright light shone from heaven, blinding him. He dropped to the ground and heard a loud voice coming from the sky. Saul, Saul, why are you out to get me? Who are you? I am Jesus, the one you think is wrong. Get up and go to the city. Then you will be told what you need to do next. Saul got up from the ground, but he was blind. He couldn't see anything. He was led to Damascus by his men, but for three full days, he was blind and didn't eat or drink anything. Now in that city, there was a man who followed Jesus. His name was Ananias. He also heard the voice of Jesus. Ananias, go to the house where Saul is. Place your hands on him so he will be able to see again. Ananias was scared because he knew Saul had a bad reputation. He knew Saul hated Christians like him, but the Lord said, Go, Saul is the man I have chosen to share my good news. So Ananias went to the house where Saul was staying. He put his hands on him and prayed for God to restore Saul's sight. Immediately, Saul could see again. He quickly chose to follow Jesus, got baptized, and regained his strength with some food. Saul stayed in that city and began to share God's good news with everyone. People knew he was the man who used to hate God and Christians, but they saw that now he was different. God had transformed him. He was no longer the Saul that didn't believe in Jesus. Now he was Paul, who spent the rest of his life serving God. Whoa, boys and girls! That was amazing! And look, Paul left us a note. Let's see what it says. Oh, it says the Holy Spirit makes us a part of God's family. Look at all this leftover fog. My goodness. So, that reminds me, I want to talk about Paul. So Paul, before he was Paul, was actually Saul. And Saul was not a very nice man. He hated Christians. He hated Jesus. He hated Jesus so much that he wanted there to be no one alive that wanted to follow Jesus. But you know what, boys and girls? Jesus still loved Paul. And God still wanted Paul to be a part of his family even though he hated him. And once Paul chose to follow Jesus and realized what Jesus had done for him, he knew that those things that he was doing before he was a part of God's family, he shouldn't do anymore. Because boys and girls, when we realize the love that God has for us, it's unconditional. And that means that we don't have to do anything for God to love us. God loves us for who we are. He wants us to show that same love to everyone else. But can I ask a question? That's kind of hard, isn't it? It's really hard, especially when you feel like people are being mean to you. When you feel like people aren't nice to you, when you feel like someone's hurt your feelings, it's not easy. But you know what? We have help. The good news is we have help. And we have help through the Holy Spirit. The Bible tells us that Jesus left us with help through the Holy Spirit. And what did we learn about the Holy Spirit? We've learned that the Holy Spirit helps us want to know God. We've learned that the Holy Spirit helps us to love everyone. And we've learned that the Holy Spirit is for everyone. And we've learned that the Holy Spirit helps us to do God's work. And what did we learn today? The Holy Spirit makes us a part of God's family. And I have another question. Have you asked Jesus to be a part of your life? 
Have you asked him to come and be with you and walk with you and be the leader of your life? If you haven't, I want to give you a chance to do that today. Here with me, it's so simple. All you got to do is pray this prayer right along with me. And you can pray it out loud. You can pray it in your head. It doesn't matter, boys and girls. All that matters is what's happening in your heart. So I'm going to ask everybody to get nice and quiet. And if you want to pray along with me, this is your chance. God, I admit that I'm a sinner. I admit that I've done wrong. I believe that you sent your son Jesus to die on the cross for me, for the forgiveness of my sins, for the things I do and have done wrong. Jesus, I believe that you rose from the grave. I believe that you're alive, and I want to ask you to come and be a part of my life. Walk with me, be the leader of my life. Give me the help of the Holy Spirit that you said you left for us. God, I thank you for all that you've done for us. We love you, and in Jesus' precious name we pray, amen. Boys and girls, if you prayed that prayer with us, we're so excited. We're so excited that we want you to tell us. There's going to be a number that's on the screen. We want you to text in your name and I chose Jesus to that number. And we've got something special we're going to send out to you. I also have something special I want to do. So you may have noticed we have a special clock here today and we want to give it to you. So let's do a fun giveaway. Why don't you text in your name and tell us where our memory verse for the time travel series came from. So it's in Romans, but where's it at in Romans? Romans, why don't you tell us? So text in your name and where our Bible verse came from and we'll send and pick out somebody to win one of these clocks on the stage. Thank you so much, boys and girls. We'll see you next week with a brand new series. Bye-bye. Give me